What's going on, guys? It's your boy Steve. I'm here with my boy Sean, and, and we, we are the real ghost guys. So, Monday night, almost midnight. Guess what we're doing? We're going out to Woodstock to Critters Lane because we heard there's a haunted house there. And this is what our life is now. Just drive around, go to haunted places at midnight, and do investigation. All right, guys, we're here at the Beachville Cemetery looking for our friend Timothy Topping. It's a very small gravesite, kind of in the middle of town, so we're gonna try to make this quick as possible. You ready, Steve? I have no idea what you said, but I'll believe that. Got the EMF meters out here. All right, guys, we're at the grave site now looking for Timothy Tapman's graveyard. Now, unfortunately, from what we were able to tell from the, uh, from the uh, online sources that we looked at was uh, Timothy actually did not have a tombstone, mostly due to the severity of uh of the crimes he committed guys i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit low-key sketchy there's a house right beside the graveyard I gotta watch where i'm going or i'm gonna trip over a grave there's a bunch of cars going by there's houses over on the other side and we're just walking through the grave late at night lights on Searching for Timothy Top. So basically, what we found online is due to the severity of the uh, of the crimes that he committed, the uh, they buried him without any tombstone. But there is a picture of the tombstone that supposedly sits right beside him. So we're looking for that tombstone right now. And that's how we know where Timothy was buried. If you guys have seen some of our other videos, you know we kind of have a tough time trying to find some of these. The locations are not always clearly marked. Yeah, sorry guys about the camera, it's just been, we're pretty much on a main street. I don't want to give away too much. Plus, it's dark, and I don't know where we're walking. So we're looking for the name Bond. And yes, we played all the puns on the way here. James Bond, we got it. Unfortunately, this graveyard is also beside a house, a couple houses on both sides, so I don't want the, uh, the neighbors calling the police. Uh, it's going to be tougher than I thought. Well, I'm sure the crowd is saying to themselves, great Steve, you got yourself in a, another graveyard at midnight. Funny thing guys is... This is the scariest time to do it, right? 
this is why our channel goes crazier than any other channel because we're willing to do crazy stuff unless we're in the wrong one anything on the MF I'm gonna head out to the front area and see what we got there all right guys so the first the grave site was unsuccessful but it's not gonna stop us we're gonna keep looking for it and uh, we're gonna find Timothy topping one way or another oh yeah we're fine tonight's the night the story already from our research has a lot of twists and turns and this again is just another one of those twists and turns but we're gonna make our way we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna find the truth behind Timothy Topper. One away. There we go. Power lines, I guess. Oh, just one away. Something on this tree. Two, one, one. Uh, if I come down to this tree, it's up a little bit. Well, something's here. Something's trying to speak with us. Something's trying to make its presence known right now. Uh, Does this tree have some sort of significance to this graveyard? Have any light on it? Again, this could be another just another twist and turn in the story. These model poles. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe something to do with these model poles here. We're on a bit higher reading here. Yeah, we're up to one here. One point one. Maybe go down the pole. See if it is another spot on the right. pole. See if it's in different areas. Or it could just be a spirit sitting on the pole with us. Somebody down this close? Uh -huh. Could have been a hit and run, car accident. Somebody. Right by a graveyard would be the perfect place for a spirit to be trapped. So counting whatever it's counting, but let's walk away from the tree here. Maybe it's something to do with the pole. Not enough evidence. We need to find out the truth. All right, guys, we're gonna resume to the car and uh, kind of Google see if there's maybe another part of the cemetery because the picture that we got definitely looked different than the cemetery here. But when you kind of clicked on the uh, when Sean clicked on the uh, find the grave and send them here, so who knows what's going on. Maybe uh, maybe there's a big conspiracy trying to keep us away from Timothy's uh, graveyard, and it just sent you to the wrong location. But we'll uh, we'll keep you guys updated. But uh, back to the car because it's cold as fuck. So, all right, guys, we are at another cemetery location. This location is called the Saint Mary Cemetery. It's literally, literally three minutes drive down the road um, from the beach. Beachville Cemetery and uh, me and Steve do believe that this is the location where Timothy Topping is buried just based on uh, the scenery around from the pictures that we got I'm pretty sure we're at the right spot so let's check it out and uh, see where this will take us This is definitely the cemetery. A lot more trees, 
This pathway was in the uh, shot. So it's somewhere, somewhere here I feel. Sean. Sean? Sixty five. Over here. Gotta watch where I'm running. Trip over a grave. And <laughs> I kick over people's graveyard, bro. Yeah, no, that's not it. What was the first name on it? It said Bond, but it's a different looking. What was the name? Do we know? I'm going to be looking around for a whole bunch of bombs. If anybody's here that would like to speak to me, whether related to the Timothy Topping incident or whether just here in spirit, please feel free, feel free to reach out to me. Please feel free to come over and touch this device and let me know that you are present and here with me. If anybody would like to speak to me, if anybody would like to speak, relay a message, absolutely anything, please come and make your presence known. Alright guys, we tried and we failed. Couldn't find it. It's dark. It's dark. This is a big grave site compared to the last one. And we've, we've made our rounds. We looked along every spot that we could find that's near a path or near a group of trees. We found a couple bonds, which are supposed to be the gravesite that's right next to the unmarked gravesite. That supposedly contains Timothy Topping's body, but we couldn't find any evidence of that as of right now. So we're going to continue on to our next location and maybe if we can get a little bit more information maybe we'll come back in the daytime we will try and find timothy's gravesite well fortunately we won't be making contact with timothy's grave but there's still a few more spots we can check out that has been said that timothy makes his presence felt in those areas and uh, that's where we're headed off to next guys so these train tracks that we're about to go through story has it that if you look left and right three times each and then cross the train tracks we're either supposed to see a ghost train or a car supposed to die not exactly sure so we're gonna we're gonna attempt it we're pulling up to the train tracks right now we're bringing you on the ride, all right? So if anything happens to us, it's happening to you guys too. All right. So here we are, we're pulling up before the train tracks. We're gonna roll down the windows. Okay. So we're gonna go look left, right, left, right, left 